Greetings, Craddock here. I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about the Firebirds 4-piece and how it's going to impact a lot of our mid-tier to low-tier wizard builds, especially um, when you're talking about solo builds next season. And there are a lot of reasons that this shift is going to occur, so I want to go over them. Just a quick note, this is like a template planner with the Taurasha 6-piece and the Firebirds 4-piece. Uh, so it's not finalized, it's a test build, so just take it as it is. But it shows kind of how you can fit things better than LOD. So the first thing going for this set composition rather than LOD is the fact that we're losing the fourth cube. So the fourth cube last season especially was great for LOD because you could fit that fourth weapon, that Aether Walker, that Death Wish, whatever it was, right? That extra multiplier, that extra item into the build that the build required. This season, however, we don't have that anymore. So we have to find another way to include that. What better way than the Firebirds 4 piece allowing us that infinite teleport once, or the cooldown reduction on teleport once you channel with Disintegrate, right? So it's a little clunky in certain terms, but it gets you what you need. We don't have to include Aether Walker, therefore we get an extra slot for a multiplier here. That's the logic. On top of this, it's giving a lot of damage reduction, which LOD would give that it to some degree, right? Because you could fit all the other defensive items that LOD allows, but um, this also fills that role of giving you extra toughness, for example, to be able to fit in, this time around, set multipliers. So the Bastions of Will, the Endless Walk set, these sort of sets are going to be able to be included with this Tau 6 FB4 set composition. And another thing going for this type of build this time around is the follower revamp. Follower revamp um, does not favor LOD it at all because what few items were preferred to use in LOD, those are now, uh, the advantage of using those is somewhat lessened. Like in Nephilim Rifting, you know, the Gloves of Worship, that was uh, the Broken Crown, those, those type of items were key for LOD, LOD's advantage. Now in Nephilim Rifting, you're, you're not going to equip those, you're going to put them on your follower, and you're going to get them anyway. Uh, Nemesis Bracer, uh, Flavor of Time, these were big for greater speeds especially, um, but also help out with Nephilim Rifting. We don't need to wear these anymore, therefore we can go with the set-based composition instead and still gain their benefit. So there's a lot going for this Firebirds 4-piece edition. <laughs> even if you have to include it in such a build that also requires a, um, a non-channeling spell such as Magic Missile. So <laughs> here's an example of like a Frozen Orb build where we're using, you know, Focus and Restraint with a signature spell. And since you have to include the channeling spell, I think it would feel a little bit wonky, but this is an example of something we can set up earlier in season, perhaps, and still have it work, right? So, <laughs> um, there are a few things. I think this will favor uh, builds that are not as wonky, like you don't have to juggle so many skills. Like this particular build here, you might have to juggle a lot of skills. But if your focus was more on the channeling aspect, perhaps like a twister build that focused just on like Death Wish, Et Shigil, you know, Disintegrate, Twisted Sword with maybe Endless Walk or something like that, or Squirt's Necklace, something like that, uh, you could get a lot of multipliers in and a lot of damage done, right? And it wouldn't be as clunky. So. This is just something I wanted to mention, and uh, a lot of the builds that I'm going to be putting out soon are not going to be LOD builds, they're going to be Firebirds 4-piece uh, with Taurasha 6. So, anyways, thank you for watching, take care.